From the hospital, I decided to push on to the York Residency Museum, which is located very close. It's a marvelous old building built in 1853, and uh, I did a separate film on this, so I won't spend any more time on it. But the museum is well worth a visit. I pay a visit to the Jar Rock Cafe, which is on the west side of town on the main highway to Perth. The Empire Flour Mill, 1892, owned by Thorne and Company. This became to be known as the York Flour Milling Company before being taken over in 18, sorry, 1993 by Jarrah Rock. The cafe is located in what was once the second largest flour mill in WA. The flour mill was closed in 1965, but the building's being used as a furniture gallery and display room by the Jarrah Rock Company. The um, cafe has great cappuccinos and a large range of food. It's a great place to sit outside and dine. The um, flour mill got its start with the opening of the railway station and the railway to Perth in 1885. The railway station still exists. And the train track is very heavily used with wheat trains today servicing the wheat belt. An early steam locomotive at the York Station Wheat being loaded for shipment to Perth from the York train station in the 1920s. The uh, Independent Order of Odd Fellows building. It was built in 1887. In 1925, it was sold to the Freemasons and became Lodge Number no. Five. Our next stop was the Imperial Hotel. Back in the mid 1980s, I attended a convention here for four days, and I have fond recollections. Even stayed over. It was a, a great time, and the Imperial Hotel today is outstanding. Let's have a look around it. The uh, bar at the Imperial, Imperial Hotel it was built in 1886 to cater for the railway, which had been completed in 1885. Built of local stone, it's a truly handsome building, which boasts of a two-story veranda featuring cast iron lacework. The veranda was removed after the 1986 earthquake in Meckering. Building was restored in 1982 with new verandas in 1988. The um, rooms at the back are uh, originally, I think, a stable. They've been constructed as authentic uh, pioneer hotel rooms. It's 
the magnificent 1900 timepieces from around the world adorn the walls. Even the Decker store, like every other store, has a historical display. I do appreciate your company, dear visitor, for visiting York with me on this film. I hope you enjoyed it and will take the time to give it a rating on Google. Please have a great day.